We have moved from a space that was extremely tight, even for the operation that we had at the time, and moved into an enormous new modern lab building purpose built for this type of work um, that allows all of our workflows to be more efficient, more scalable, and get us uh, more answers for the same time. We are expanding the investigator's ability to look into the human immune system and how that immune system reacts both to disease indications and new drugs during drug development. We're doing this uh, across the gamut from preclinical studies all the way through clinical trials. So working with different cell lines, animal models in general, uh, to really look at how all the cutting edge therapies and even the more traditional therapies are impacting the immune system and the diversity of that immune response. The problems that we solve involve generally assay design, looking at how best to answer a question. Uh, clients typically will come to us saying that they have this therapy, it's going into these uh, this disease state to treat uh, you know certain patients. How can we best understand what's happening? How does the immune system respond? What cells are binding the therapy? Uh, things of that nature, uh, and really providing that expertise. One of the coolest things that we're doing here is definitely um, validating new instruments and new software. Um, so we start off with the, the SciTech systems, of course, and then we're adding in FCS Express. We're applying um, both of those um, tools, because that's really all they are at the end of the day, just a tool to address a question. And we're applying those to address some questions about how functional um, cells are at different time points after treatment. And we found a way to combine two different um, assays using these advanced tools um, to get uh, more complete answers faster and in ways that uh, actually allow themselves to be applied to clinical trials. Previously with these types of functional assays we were limited to um, timelines as short as two to six hours from the time that the blood was drawn to the patient which really limits where the clinical site can be. It has to be driving distance and they have to have all sorts of uh, very specialized setup to be able to get the sample to us to test. Um, with uh, the work that we've done on these assays and with these specialized tools, we've been able to extend that out to 24 hours. It became a much more robust, uh, geographically global company. So with our facilities now in Lyon, we, um, we have the staff, the space, the equipment to significantly expand our European operations, ensure that every single sample, no matter if it's um, drawn in uh, the EU or drawn in the US, is treated the same and uh, gives uh, the same answer, no matter who's asking the question, the tools that we have. From an industry standpoint, uh, definitely immunology um, has been a, a um, steadily increasing part of clinical trials. Um, the regulatory agencies recognize how important it is and have seen the impact that uh, immune responses can have. So they're demanding this of more and more trials and having this mechanism of action really elucidated completely is, uh, is essential. And that's what we uh, do here.